Hello everybody, in this video I will be talking about the history of Mighty the Armadillo, who actually has quite a bit in common with Ray the Flying Squirrel. This is as a result of also being created by Manabu Kusunoki. Along with Ray, Mighty has appeared in very few games, including Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, where he was voiced by Yusuke Numata, and Knuckles Chaotix. In Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, he was imprisoned on Eggman Island with Ray and Sonic, who then reach Robotics' control room and make the island self-destruct. They do escape, of course. In Knuckles Chaotix, he gets captured by Dr. Robotnik, again, and is turned into a statue by his combi catcher. Of course, he gets rescued by Knuckles and Espio the Chameleon, who then defeat Robotnik and restore peace to the island. Mighty has been noted to be a great fighter, although he is mostly a pacifist. Like the rest of the Sonic characters, he can also run at high speeds, but in Sonic Mania Plus, he is seen to be using a new attack, called the Hammer Drop. Additionally, Mighty can jump between walls, which would definitely be an interesting feature if it were added in Mania Plus. On one of the missing posters in City Escape of Sonic Generations, Mighty's name is misspelled, with the armadillo having two D's and one L. His name is also called a Mighty in the Japanese manual of Knuckles Chaotix. Finally, his sprites and animations in Knuckles Chaotix are exactly the same as those of Sonic in a prototype version of the game, leading to the belief that Sonic was originally supposed to be a playable character. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. See you later.